This is a, a follow-on presentation uh, about how I stopped the leak around the water jacket of my Hankai 3.5 horsepower two-stroke. And it seemed to work pretty well. And uh, so let's see how I did it. This is my uh, working in flushing contraption um, that I'm using on the finger pair of the dock. And I use a five gallon water bucket, which is great. And uh, the only thing is if you don't want water splashing around all over the place when you're running the engine, um, take the prop off. Here's the problem. There's crappy sealant that went around the water jacket um, from the factory. It's some sort of uh, yellow epoxy which failed. And I had water squirting out all over the engine piston and over the spark plugs and over the, the coil and all this other stuff. Um, so I tried to figure out how to fix this and it was because the sealant had failed. And you just have to use a lot of elbow grease and screwdrivers and chips and anything you can get to chip this stuff off. But I found the best tool for sure is a Dremel and I have a, a flexible extension arm for it and use various wire brushes and it seemed to work well getting that stuff out. So this is what it looks like uh, after I've cleaned it up. The before picture you see the yellow uh, crappy resin and this is uh, the water jacket as after I got it cleaned up and just notice I've, I've labeled hot rivets well this water jacket is basically like a skull can that's turned upside down that's pressed onto the cylinder head um, and it's hot riveted on and you can't get inside the water jacket to reseal it so they've resealed it from the outside and the resin they used evidently failed um, so the water jacket itself uh, works fine. It's just that you can't seal the water in it. So that's what I hope to solve. What I did initially is I used uh, Permatex high temperature stuff and it worked great and it looked great and I thought it had a great uh, result. But when I got to using the engine, it, after a few minutes it failed and it started failing. Um, and so I had to go and do it all over again. And remember, when you're sanding all this stuff up and, and chipping and, and all this other with wire brushes and stuff, uh, cover up the spark plug hole so you don't get uh, crap going down inside of it. Now, this is a picture just showing where I've drawn the little red arrows is uh, on the video that's following. Just look right around those areas. You'll see like water spraying out or, or leaking out there. So this is just beginning to fail after my uh, first fix. Uh, and uh, so watch the video and you'll see what I'm talking about with the water you know, starting to spray out around. Now, it's deja vu all over again. I had to go and scrape and clean out all the old Permatex seal that I used. Um, but, you know, this is what you got to do. So this is it after I've cleaned up uh, what I had uh, applied in the first place. And what I used instead was JB Weld High Temperature. I got it at Napa Auto Parts. It's a two uh, part epoxy and it, uh, according to the packaging, it's, you know, over 500 degrees um, uh, heat uh, safe. Anyways, it's got to be good because it takes four hours to set and about 24 hours to harden for use. And it sticks to just about everything, so be careful on your kitchen table. You don't want to get it on there. I even use it to repair. Uh, I have a Tuhatsu uh, small engine, and it has the, the engine cover, which fractured, and they want, you know, it's like the price of gold to buy another one. So I just repaired it with this JB Weld that works great. It looks like the Dickens, but that's okay because if you have an ugly uh, cover, then 
chances are people don't steal your engines and I've had a number of engines stolen uh, when I've been around cruising and things anyways this is the uh, the result uh, the JB weld I used uh, various pieces of uh, tongue depressors and stuff to to smear the stuff around and, and seal the leaks uh, the, the gap rather and it's all around the base of the water jacket and also you have to go all the way around the top of the water jacket because it, it's a uh, it's the same sort of a little gap up there that you need to seal and the key takeaways I find is like uh, you want to limit idling because that water jacket gets really hot the cylinder head gets hot it's air cooled when it's at idle but as the prop starts to engage it pumps water up there so the aluminum, you know, you think about it as getting hot uh, when it's at idle, and then it cools off really fast uh, when it starts pumping water up there. So uh, it's a wonder that any sort of epoxy uh, would be successful in sealing this thing. But so far, the JB Weld has done pretty good. I've, you know, got a couple hours on the engine now since I've done the repair, and it seems to be working great, uh, much better than the way the way I got it. Anyways, and the other thing is keep that cable, uh, the throttle cable lube, because in their wisdom, they used a steel throttle cable. And in a saltwater environment, you know, those steel cables don't last very long unless you keep them really lubed. Um, so if you keep if you keep that thing, these things done, you know, and, and, and serviced, it, it's an interesting, simple engine that seems to work all the time. Uh, with its flaws and I do enjoy the engine and it just happens to work um, but it's it's not the, the top engineered uh, type thing but it, it, it works for me and you know pushing my little dinghy around so I'm dock cruising here Cruising, no leaks. 